Nancy Pelosi, as you may have heard, is stepping down as Democratic leader, which is about to be leader of the minority in the House, right? Many are weighing in. I don't have much value to add, and I'm not just going to add my voice to the chorus. This show is about trying to give you something different. Now, I have known the speaker for a very long time. She's a very dear friend of my mother, was of my father, and she's proven herself many times over in her 30 plus years as a true tactician in politics. She may like her position, she may not, but it's hard to argue with her effectiveness and longe longevity, let alone the fact that her signature moment of strength pretty much, I think, inarguably came just recently on January 6th at over 80 years of age dealing with people coming for her, and they had bad intentions. And it was a really interesting picture of calm uh, and cool and consistency. And you could see people were nervous around her. Certainly Schumer was. She wasn't, and I think that says a lot about her. I also think that you should remember one other thing that makes Pelosi of particular import to someone like me, an Italian-American. What she was able to become is really impressive, given the barriers to people of not just her gender, but her ethnicity back when she was entering the fray. Italian-Americans, you know, weren't always just considered white like today. Uh, for people like her and my father, they were seen as ethnics, and that was a negative connotation. Swarthy, hot-blooded, probably dirty, mobbed up. So it's an impressive achievement, especially as a woman, especially then. Now, here is something worthwhile. Uh, that I have for you as an observation of what's going on with Pelosi. This is a very important time for you to for forget about Pelosi. Watch everyone else. Moments like this let you know a lot about what people are about and what the parties are planning. And not just the obvious, like the Democrats are likely to put New York's Hakeem Jeffries in as leader. Okay, I'll tell you this, he's very different from Pelosi in politics and persuasion. I don't know what direction he's gonna take the party, um, but people sleep on him because he's calm and he's reserved. Uh, it's a mistake. And there's going to be a lot of jostling for power around him, but that's going to be delayed. We're not going to see that right now. The immediate tell will be on the right. See who demonizes Pelosi, who recognizes her record of service, seems to be respectful. See who does both. And then those who use her as a wedge for what they say they're going to do now. The most menacing posture of all of those will be the ones demonizing and recognizing her service, because those are your stone-cold players of the game. When you see somebody who with one hand is saying, oh, you know, 30 years of great service, and with the other one, she was the worst, do we fire you? That's the person to watch. That is the definition of speaking out of both sides of their face, right? The second one to watch, the wedge players. They're showing you that they want more chaos. Those are the ones specifically who are going to be calling for investigations after saying for years, these political investigations need to stop yeah, until you're in control, right? And then you do the same thing just like you did before the Democrats. Who's going to try to be better? So watch for that, and you're going to see everything you need to know. It is a sad commentary on the state of politics that an 82-year-old grandmother can be treated like a rival quarterback that people want to see knocked out of the game and disrespected. As the U.S. Army's chief counsel, Joseph Welch, said to then-Senator Joseph McCarthy at the Senator's Culture War of another era, the 1950s communist witch hunt. You remember this? So here's the scene. McCarthy is going after one of the staffers for counsel, for Welch, trying to destroy him as being somehow connected to a communist group. Welch cuts him off and says, you've done enough. That part is rarely repeated, by the way, but it matters in context. You have done enough. Have you no sense of decency, sir? That's the part we hear. But remember, it was about, that's all McCarthy had been doing, and it had been working. But now you had this guy who wasn't part of the game who stood up and was like, this is disgusting as someone who's not part of this game. And we have another McCarthy right now in name, but McCarthy, who's going to probably be Speaker of the House, is playing a very different game than Joseph McCarthy was. Kevin is his own guy, and we'll see what he does with his power. But the strategy is similar in terms of injecting poison as fear and prejudice into the game. But who is Welsh? Who has that standing? Welsh was a hired gun, right? He was a lawyer in that hearing. You know who I think Welch is? You. You are Welch. 
you, the independent voter, the swing voter, the free agent. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.